A day of hope and celebration in Israel as people here received the first doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Government ministers, hospital managers and healthcare workers received the jab in the early hours of Sunday. Prime Minister Netanyahu was the first Israeli to be inoculated. It's a very big day for the state of Israel. We've been living for almost a year with the most difficult pandemic that humanity has seen for the last 100 years, and now is the beginning of the way out. Millions of vaccines will arrive in our small state. It's not trivial. Millions more are to come, and everyone needs to get vaccinated. But as the vaccination program rolls out in Israel, millions of Palestinians in the occupied West Bank and Gaza are waiting to hear when they'll be vaccinated. The Palestinian Authority says it's in talks with the World Health Organization and vaccine developers. Analysts and human rights groups say even if enough doses can be bought, the Palestinian Authority will need international help to distribute them. We know that the PA will not be able to secure uh, the whole amount of the vaccines uh, alone. Uh, they do uh, hope that um, you know, assistance from uh, European countries or uh, other partners such as the World Health Organization and uh, UNICEF will be uh, secured uh, as well. In Gaza, there's a record number of COVID-19 cases. The WHO is warning the healthcare system there may collapse. Israel is being asked by human rights organizations to ensure all Palestinians are also vaccinated. In response, the Israeli government says it may donate doses left over after all Israelis have had theirs. So for now, there are celebrations in Israel, but in the West Bank and Gaza, there is no way of knowing when Palestinians can feel the same sense of relief. Irene Nasser, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.